Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. That's Justin's house. In this video, I want to talk to you about the May 2023 updates to Security Incident Response Workspace. I got the store application up here behind me. If we look, we're on version 1.1.0. This just came out in Utah and now they've already updated it in the May 2023 update. We see here support for CrowdStrike Falcon host integration and what I'm going to show you in this video, CISO and Manager Overview Dashboards. Now, I I had to go look at my old video to see what dashboards were there before. I know this is gonna be blurry on the video, but essentially when this came out version one, we had context sensitive analytics, security analyst overview, security incident explorer, incident management, and incident management premium KPIs plus security operations efficiency. So let's take a look at what the changes look like. This is one of my demo showcases, and I'm just gonna hop in. I'm actually already in security incident response workspace, and I'm gonna hop over to the SIR dashboards. Here's a security analyst overview, and this is the new dashboard menu. So there's that content sensitive context sensitive analytics where we have before, but now I've got a CISO dashboard or Chief Information Security Officer dashboard. This is what it looks like. Not all of my performance indicators or KPIs are gonna show. I expect that in my demo instance, especially with something so new like this. But now we can see average time to identify weekly, average time to contain, average time to eradicate all weekly. Here we've got new security incidents this week. That is a lot. Uh, security incidents closed this week. That is a lot. Uh, new security incidents running seven days and security incidents closed running seven days. That one was kind of behind my head. So let's scroll up a little bit so you can see uh, what's down below. I've got new closed security incidents daily graph, new closed security incidents weekly security incident close codes and then one that's loading up there um, probably not going to actually have data for that one either but you get the idea new CISO dashboard let's check out the CISO reporting overview also new but not as pretty when I looked at this earlier after seeing and making sure all these were working in my workspace there we go I've got new security incidents this week closed this week uh, new security incidents running seven days, security incidents closed seven days, uh, average time to identify, contain, average time to contain critical ones. If we look down before in my instance where it's not available, weekly new security incidents, weekly closed security incidents, and security incident closed codes. These are probably just scheduled jobs that haven't had time to run yet or they need to go activate and get them running. So not surprised to see that, but let's take a look at the last new one, which is gonna be the security incident manager overview that's the other new one all the rest of those there were there in version one so let's take a look at security incident manager overview and as you can see it looks a little bit like the same as we were looking at with the CISO but more focused on a team so we've got team critical team high SLA is expiring average time to contain av or critical average time to contain and average time to identify let's scroll up a little bit we got security incidents by CI class, so we can see a mass storage device and a web server, and a trend of all security incidents by category, which is not showing on mine. And let's see if this one does shows that doesn't show down here. Trend of all security incidents by priority. So again, probably a scheduled job. I need to go change or go activate or go run in this particular instance. But you can see uh, with this new version, they've added three new dashboards for you to look at. Again, these are built on performance analytics workspace and then added to these workspaces, CISO dashboard, CISO reporting overview, and security incident manager overview. Hey guys, I was in the middle of recording or editing that video that you're watching and I just had to fix the, the widgets on these dashboards. I was like, I can't post this and have all these errors. So I went and ran all the jobs that were associated and I edited some filters so you can see all the widgets are working now. Um, the, the job, there's some historical jobs that you need to run, especially if you've got a lot of data in your system. And as far as the date filters, like you can see here, there was weekly new security incidents and closed um, that wasn't showing. And that's because in my demo showcase, we generate data like at a certain period of time and then we let it sit there and show it. Um, we're not continually generating data like you see in a production environment. So I had to adjust some things so the filters would let all that stuff through. So that was the second dashboard you just saw there. And then here's all the fixes on a security manager 
overview dashboard. So there's all the widgets working and I'll return you to your regular scheduled program. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe or share with somebody who you think might be interested in having different lenses and different dashboards within their security incident response workspace. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.